Okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to use a larger saute pan. And the reason why you want to do that is so that when you put your pasta, it fits right in. You don't usually want to use these big pots. Add about a good solid tablespoon to two tablespoons of salt. Make sure you have enough water that it covers the pasta. Add it in. Give it a little turn. And let that go. While that's all happening, you guys can start getting all your um, vegetables prepped. Uh, you can also use the same water if you'd like to add your carrots into it. Okay, you want to peel your carrots. Okay, on this particular one you are going to do uh, any of your cuts that you're going to do on your practical, which is going to be an oblique, a batonet, or a julienne. So that'll be at your discretion. Uh, preferably, I think the, uh, the oblique is more of a technique than the julienne and the batonet. The batonet, you have to, uh, you have to get it to the exact size. The oblique is more of a technique. Okay, so the oblique. I'm going to turn this around. I usually want to start it on the thin side. So what I'm going to do, and it's also called a roll cut, and I'll tell you, explain what that is. So you're going to cut it at an angle. Then you're going to turn it and then cut it at an angle and then you can turn it. That's why it's called a roll cut or an oblique or you can go back and forth. You can go this way and back. The whole idea so is you get them all the same size. So as I get to the larger part I'm going to cut less into it. Okay so roll and see even though it's a thicker I'm still getting them about the same size. Again you can go back and forth if you want. Back forth, back, or you can just go straight. And these are your oblique. Okay, after about eight minutes, go ahead and get your pasta and shock it in ice water. So you may use that, and then you're going to use that same water if you'd like to put your carrots in. You may use that same ice water as well. Get your carrots, place them in. You're going to go on the carrots anywhere from three to five minutes on the carrots. Rolling boil. And then you will also shock these. Okay, after well. about three to five minutes, go ahead and remove. You can use a spider. And you can check them with the fork. They should be slightly soft, but yet still a little bit firm in the center. Add them into your ice water. Or you can strain it. You're, at this point, you're done with the water. You can strain it and then just set, keep it separate, or you can keep it all together with your pasta and your. And the next thing you want to do is get your chicken, lay it out on a half sheet pan, or in this case, I have a quarter sheet pan. Lay them out. Uh, you can cut them in half, or you can leave them whole. It's up to you. You can even uh, tenderize them with a meat mallet. So go ahead and I have some salt ready, salt and pepper. Season them. Um, season them on both sides. You can also add paprika. That gives it a little more golden color to it. So I'm going to turn these around. And I'm, notice I'm not touching them. Make sure that when you use your tongs, after you do these, you either wash them or use another pair. So that when you, if you should, um, add your pasta to it. So I'm going to go ahead and season those. Then I'll go ahead and add another piece of chicken right on top. Season both sides, just so you get that direct flavor. Okay, once you have your chicken ready to go, make sure you have all your additional ingredients ready so that when you're uh, gonna saute, you have your garlic. You're gonna be using crushed garlic. I'm gonna show you how to properly do this garlic here. You got a little chili flakes, that's optional. You've got your lemon, split that in half. You got your capers, you got your butter. Butter you should cut into smaller portions. You want to cut uh, cut in a little bit at a time, so we'll just cut little pieces off. And then we'll have our 
chicken stock, chicken stock capers, and then we have our lemons, we have our chili flakes that is optional, then you got your garlic, cut off the very ends of them, and then a little technique here, smash, and then you could chop it up. Make sure you chop it up nice and fine, you don't want to bite into garlic, so it should be nice and fine. Continue. Also, what helps is if you use a little salt in there, that'll keep it together. And then once you got everything ready to go, you're ready to put everything together. So this is your mise en place. You got all your mise en place. Okay, so now you're ready. You got everything uh, in place, mise en place. You got your pan, make sure you get it hot, nice and hot. Add your olive oil, a good generous amount. Get the pan, make sure it all hits to the sides. So you're gonna add your chicken in there. So hear that nice little sear. That's what you're looking for. Nice and golden brown. Don't disturb it. Try not to crowd it. It will eventually... It will eventually shrink. Once it does, you can add your other piece in there. Okay, at some point you want to start moving them over. Still not disturbing it. That nice color. And we'll add the next piece. So I kind of move that over so it gets more heat so that the fire on there is getting it. So you're looking for a nice, good golden color. So just let it go. You have to move them around a little, move them, but don't uh, turn them around yet. Let it go for about two or three minutes. You should be able to see, see the white there? That tells you it's about almost halfway cooked. If you notice the white on there, that's what you're looking for. That tells you it's at least halfway cooked. Continue to let them go. You can check them. Okay, lifting them and looking at them. You're not putting these in the oven. You want to make sure that they're just completely cooked. So the stock, the stock will finish cooking them off as well. You're also going to add your pasta into it as well. All right, so now we're ready to turn. And that's what we're looking for, a golden brown color. You're getting a nice bond on the bottom, a nice little, there you go, nice and golden brown. There you go. And then this is the one we put in last. We'll turn that around. Okay, now you're going to add your garlic. I'm 
So I'm adding the garlic. Make sure you add it into the pan. Try not to add it on top of the chicken. And then we're going to add some of those chili flakes for extra flavor. Again, into the pan if you want to do that. And then you just want to kind of work it in. Or you want to get that nice smell out of the garlic. It's going to give it all that flavor. Don't burn it. So at this point now, after the garlic is slightly toasted, you're going to add your chicken stock. And that's where you're going to start to do the remainder of the cooking. So now we've got that. Now what we want to do is we want to reduce this. So we're doing two things. We're reducing the stock. We're also finished cooking the other side of the chicken. So let that just go a little bit. And then this should finish cooking the chicken. And then we're going to add our other ingredients into it. We're going to add this next step. We are going to um, add our pasta. Once we add our pasta, then we can begin adding all the other ingredients to it. So I have the pasta right here. And again, we're just reducing this down at least half. And then you're going to have to adjust with salt and pepper, additional salt and pepper, or you may not need it at all. You're just going to have to taste it. While this is going, someone can be doing the carrots as well. The carrots are already basically cooked. All you're going to do is saute. And that tastes really good. Okay, so now I'm going to add the pasta into it. So all we're really doing is reheating the pasta. At this point, you can bring your chicken up above so it cooks into that, that pasta, like so, just enough to get it in there. Or if you want to reheat it through that way, you can, but it will work all better. Okay, at this point now, you can start to add your lemon and your capers. So if you want to add that in, or you may squeeze it. Let it go. Just like shake it up and move it around. Okay, add your capers. Very good. And then finally, you're going to add that butter. You're going to monte au beurre, which is mount the butter into it. So you're going to have a, a burst of flavor in here. When you're doing that, you have to turn off your stove. Add your butter. Slowly mix it in. Let it melt. Let it melt gently, okay? Don't add it too much. You can add it in certain sections, right here. Again, you're using about two ounces of butter. Get all that flavor in there. Again, you're gonna do a final taste and adjust, okay? So I turn this off, adding that butter. At this point, the residual heat will melt that butter and it'll lend some more flavor to it. And there you have chicken piccata. Again, you want to have someone do the carrots while this is happening at the same time so then you can have it all done at once and not let this sit too long. The carrots won't take long, but you want to make sure this is... Okay, do a final just adjust. Okay, I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. A little salt. Remember, I got a little chili, so I'm not going to actually even add any pepper to it because it's got a little chili and then optional you can add fresh basil fresh parsley this happens to be fresh basil this is an optional 
kind of gives it color, gives it flavor. Now your carrots, little oil, any kind of oil. Get them into your pan. They're already being cold. They're cold, but they're already cooked. So all you really want to do is heat them through. I'm going to go and do a honey and cardamom. You can do that as well, or you can just do salt and pepper and just butter, or you can just steam them. So I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. I'm going to add a little cardamom. Not too much, it's very potent, so like a pinch. Just a pinch. Then I'm going to add some honey. And then turn off my flame, add the butter, toss it until it melts. And you have a nice, beautiful honey glazed carrot with a little cardamom that you can serve with it. Okay, and for the plate up, what you can do is you can get your pasta. I'm going to show you a little technique where you can get your pasta just like this and roll it up. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just going to roll it up. This is all optional if you want to do it this way. It makes a nice presentation. Set it in like so. You can place your chicken on top like this throw in some of the juice the lemon juice mixture that's that butter mixture in there and then add those beautiful carrots right on there you want to use a garnish for basil, you can do that as well. And there you go, you have your chicken piccata with honey glazed carrots.